Hi guys, my name is Michael from Hustle Sheets and today I want to show you guys a dashboard that I built for real estate agents to help track all of their leads um, by status and then also track their commissions and um, their total revenue for the year, month, week, etc. Um, the dashboard is built on Google Data Studio and then the data is entered into a Google Sheet like this. And as you enter in data into the Google Sheet, the dashboard will automatically update and reflect the most current data. Um, this entire system and template is going to be available for purchase in the description, so just check out that link below. Um, I first kind of want to go over um, the spreadsheet and let you know kind of how the data is entered, and then I'll go through the uh, this dashboard and show you um, the type of data that it visualizes for you guys. So this entire thing is to basically help real estate agents keep better track of all of their leads and then their actual sales or closes, right? So um, these are the columns that I chose. Um, th this is kind of the most common columns that I had with all of my real estate agent clients. Um, the first thing we have is a date entered. So this is the date that you enter in the information. And then you have the full name. And if you uh, click on this little toggle plus sign up here, um, there's gonna be a second full name, like maybe it's a couple or something. Um, the street address, the city, the state, the zip, the phone number, and then an email. Um, this is just kind of um, contact level information. So I've kind of grouped it and hidden it so that you don't always have to look at it, right? It makes it a bit messy. The next thing we have is a lead status. So um, I've just chosen kind of six statuses. So this one is closed, which means the sale has been closed. Active, it's, you know, it's about to close, I guess. Um, in contract, it's in contract. This is a hot lead, a warm lead, and a lost lead. Now your statuses might be a bit different for your business and you're able to easily customize this um, in this drop down menus tab here. So this is the lead status drop downs, right? And let's say you have different ones and let's say you have a seventh one called like super hot or something. As soon as you add it onto this section here, it's going to show up um, on this drop down menu. You'll see here it says super hot here now, right? So you can delete and customize this as you need. It's important to always just use these drop down menu options because it keeps things a bit more standardized on your spreadsheet and it reduces like misspelling errors and things like that. The next thing we have is a transaction side dropdown. So this is a buyer seller. Um, so this is whether you're in the buyer or the seller side. Sometimes you have both. You're on both sides of, of, of a sale, right? But I prefer to not use both. Um, and in this example, what I would do is I would, I would repeat the row, the data, once as a buyer and then once as a seller. So I would basically put in the data twice. Um, and this way the numbers can kind of be split up uh, correctly. So that's just my, my suggestion for you guys. Uh, the next thing is the source. So this is the source where the lead came from. I put in a bunch of random sources like client referral, direct mail, Facebook ads, open house, other referral, purchase leads, Redfin, sphere of influence, Zillow, etc. You can, again, you can customize this um, however you like. You can delete things and change things for what you want. Um, a note going back to the lead status, I put a number here. This is just so that I can kind of sort it on the dashboard a bit easier. So you can see number one up top and um, going on down. Um, otherwise, it's gonna sort it by alphabetical order or by the number um, per, per status. So that's just a suggestion as well. Um, <clears throat> this column here is the expected or actual close date. This is probably one of the most important columns that you have to fill in. Um, so this is gonna be the date that you think it's gonna close um, or that it's actually closed, right? And this entire dashboard, um, see these numbers here um, where you see the commissions by month is entirely based on this date. So basically, if you don't put a date into this column, that row of data isn't gonna show in this dashboard. If you don't put a date in here, um, it will still show as long as there's a date in here. So this is the most important one. But I still think it's good to have a date entered. This way you can kind of see the number of days it takes from the time that you've inputted the lead into your funnel from the time that it actually closed. Um, and then here we have um, the actual sale price, um, the referral fee, commission percentage, agent split, offers written, and some notes. Um, and then we have two columns here called gross commission, net commission, and then these are calculated using um, kind of these different numbers here, right? So it's basically, it's the actual sale price times the commission percentage, you know, subtracted by the, the referral fee. And then the net commission is going to be um, this gross commission multiplied by the agent split. Um, I'll kind of give more clarification on this, on this formula 
Um, and you can also customize this. It's quite, this is quite simple Google Sheets work. So you can kind of customize it based on how your agency or how you might do it in your business, right? Okay, so now that we have all of this data, um, this is pretty straightforward. Um, this is how the, this is what shows on the dashboard. So up top here, we have a date range selector. This one is going to default to this year to date. I'm actually gonna change it to this, this year. So it just shows um, the future dates as well in case you put um, expected close dates in the future. Um, and then we have kind of three filters up top here. The first one is for the lead status. By default, I've only selected close, active, and in contract. This is because uh, based on my work with previous real estate agents, these three were the most likely to close, right? So you basically, like you're not gonna wanna see your total net commissions for lost leads, for example, um, or maybe hot or warm, because it's gonna give you kind of an inaccurate picture of how much you're earning. Um, but you can easily select it all just to see the kind of the earning potential that you have, right? Or if you only wanna see like actual numbers, let's say actually closed, just click on closed and it's gonna filter the entire dashboard um, and show you the only the numbers of where the spreadsheet is actually marked closed here. And then um, you can reset this to go back. And then let's say you only wanna see your buyer, your buyer transactions or your seller transactions. Um, you can click only here. It's gonna show you the, only the buyer side and then the same thing with seller side. And then let's say you only wanna see all of your data that's coming in from Facebook ads. So just click okay, you'll see you've earned $43,000 in commissions from Facebook ads leads, for example. Next, um, so basically everything on this dashboard is defaulted to filter to only show close, active, and in contract. If you wanna see how much you've lost, the earning potential of how much you've lost, you can see, okay, you know, I had $19,000 in potential commissions that I have lost, okay? But for now, everything in this dashboard is only gonna show close, active, and in contract. So there's a total of 29 leads, which basically means there's 29 rows here where um, the status is closed, active in contract. This is the total sale price. This is the gross commission, net commissions, and then this is the number of closed deal deals. So this is rows that actually have closed as a status. Um, this one is a sales price versus net commission by closed month. So it kind of gives you an idea of how your commissions and your number of leads are trending each month. So you can see, for example, in February, there was $48,000 um, in uh, commissions and then six leads. You can kind of just get a, a bird's eye view of your trend level here. You can also drill this down by um, down to week, right, like this. So let's say you only want to look at these last 30 days, kind of in a more granular view. You'll see, okay, so this is under the breakdown by week. This is, you can go down even further and you can actually go down to a breakdown by day, for example, like this, right? Um, and let's say you only wanna see closed, again, select close, and you'll see, okay, this is how much I've actually made during this time. Um, so down here, we have um, a section for the total leads by source. Um, this kind of shows you the number of leads that you're getting by source, so it kind of gives you an idea of how each, like maybe where you should focus your marketing, for example, right? So 20% of everything is coming from Facebook ads. This is, um, if you wanna see the actual commission numbers, you can click on this little section here and then click on net commissions. Um, same with here as well. And you can see, okay, 20% of my net commissions come from purchase leads. So maybe you wanna focus more there. Um, this one is a breakdown by status. So you can kind of look at this and then see, um, cause it's hard to tell from the spreadsheet, right? Like what the breakdown is of, of lead status, but here you can basically easily see it. You can see 27% are closed, 41% are in contract, 31% are active, and then eight, nine, and 12. Um, this one, I would probably select all of this just so you can have a all the status so you can see a better idea of, of how the breakdown is between all of your leads, right? Same thing, you can look at this commission-wise and, um, and you know actual sale price, any of those metrics, you can look at it. So let's say I wanna see, okay, where my actual closed commissions are coming from. I would select closed. Um, and then maybe I would, so, oh, everything. Okay, so this is by source, sorry. So I wanna look at this by source. So as you can see, okay, all of my, five of my, 62% um, of my closed leads come from Facebook ads. Let's say I wanna see it by commissions, um, you know, quite similar here. Um, with this one here, you can also drill down and look at it by the buyer or seller side. So you can see you have 17 leads that are 
buyer and then 50, 12 that are seller. And then you can drill this down as well to see the same thing. You see the breakdown of percentage between buyer and seller listings. Uh, down here we have a monthly breakdown. So this is uh, quite similar to this, but in table format. So you can see the actual numbers and it shows the number of leads, actual sale price, gross commission and net commission for each month. Um, if you wanna see just closed, again, hit closed, and then it'll break it down this way for you. Um, this one is just kind of a status breakdown. It's quite similar to this, except it's showing you by month. So maybe you can see for each month, how many you have that are in contract, active and closed, and you can probably select all of this as well. And then you can kind of get a better breakdown of how many leads you're losing per month, et cetera. This one is a source breakdown. It's the same. Um, as as up here except it's broken out by source so you can see the total number of leads sale price net commissions by source this one is a lead status breakdown these are quite similar to up here it's just that it's kind of in a table format so you can see the actual numbers as well and then at the very bottom i have a section called detailed information which is basically a replica of this spreadsheet here um, but let's say you want to see all of your closed leads right and you don't want to use filtering in Google Sheets, which you could you could easily do. Um, you can use filtering in Google Sheets, but let's say you just want to do it on the dashboard. Um, just click on closed, and then it's going to filter and show you all of your closed leads data like this, right? So you can see for each individual uh, deal, um, your net commissions for each one, etc. So this is uh, the basic dashboard and Google Sheets system that I've created. Um, it's a template. Um, I would check to make and watch this video to make sure that these columns are everything that you would want. Um, as far as customization, you can easily. Um, I don't do any customization on this unless you guys um, unless you guys hire me on like as a you know for like a custom project. But um, just to let you know, if you purchase this, um, I don't do any customizations on it for you guys, right? Like it, it doesn't come with the with the price basically. If you want to add on columns, it's quite easy to do. So you can just add on any columns. Let's say you track different things on here, right? You can add on whatever, whatever. And this is all customizable. If you have decent Google Sheets knowledge and you know do some, and you have basic Data Studio um, skills, which is quite simple to learn, um, you can kind of customize this as you want, right? The one thing I don't suggest is to delete and change the names of these columns, because then you'll kind of get some errors in the spreadsheet. Um, if you don't really know what you're doing, at least. So if, you, if you're kind of a beginner at this, I'll keep it at it as it is. The only thing I might change is my, I might add some other columns into it, um, but that is basically it. A couple of kind of rules of the spreadsheet I would keep in mind um, is you don't wanna accidentally delete these, these columns here. So these are formulas, right? So let's say you wanna delete an entire row here. Um, it's gonna give you a warning because you're trying to delete this section. So trying to delete these columns, you can easily drag these down, but just trying to, do, to delete these. Um, and then you don't want to kind of add in random text into like random um, sections, right? You wanna keep the text as to what it should be in the dropdown options, the dates, the numbers, et cetera. I basically have a tab here of called start here where you can um, look at all a bunch of these kind of how-to videos. And then this one has a simple link to your dashboard as well. I'm going to keep adding to this section here where you can kind of where I basically get, you know, any questions from people that buy this and then the most common questions, I'll basically give me just make a quick video response and I'll just put it here so you can kind of have like a dictionary of videos to look at as a resource. Um, so that's basically it. Um, if you were to purchase this, what would happen is um, you would purchase it and then I'll you'd give me this only works on Gmail, by the way, not Excel. OK, so you provide me your Gmail and then I kind of just help you connect it quickly. And then um, it's basically yours. Um, I'll kind of give a, like a PDF with a set of instructions um, and then I'll just kind of help you guys connect it. And then um, that's basically how it works. Um, so that's basically it for this uh, dashboard um, and spreadsheet. If you guys want kind of other Google Sheets products like this, let me know what you're looking for. Or if you want to add certain things to this, you can let me know as well. Um, I also have a Google Sheets course and a Data Studio course that's coming out. So make sure you check the links out um, and then kind of sign up for it. There's a very small chance I might provide like a very, very skinny version of just this spreadsheet for free. Um, if there's a link in the description, then it's available. If it's not, then it's not. Um, but thanks a lot, guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions or what you guys think about this uh, template and if it would work for your real estate um, business. Thanks.